Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on August 15th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Volcanic Activity Report, and as well, the planetary positioning for week 32, 2021. And we are observing 46 volcanoes across the planet as we speak right now that are active and erupting looking at the pretty stressed regions over the last little while and as well very active volcanoes another large eruption in Iceland last night and as well we're watching large seismic movement across the planet Philippines, Alaska, all around the ring of fire also noting out all of the volcanoes that are showing unrest which are the yellow icons So active and erupting are red and orange. And volcanoes showing unrest are yellow. And there are many, if not double the amount. There's probably about 100. So we're going to start out here with Popo in Mexico, Santiaguito, Fuego, and Pacaya. Three active volcanoes in Guatemala. As well, Masaya Volcano and Recon de la Veja. Notable there, Talika. And as well, all of the volcanoes in the subduction zone here through the Caribbean. Noting these out because it's been very active through the region. Kekum Jenny, Soufriere, Paris. We've already seen Soufriere erupt. Down into South America here with Nevada to Ruiz. And as well, notable all unrest through here. In through the Columbia Mountains, Reventador, Sangue, down into Peru here with Sabancaya, and as well South Argentina and Chile here, and Nevados to Chilean, Copahue has awakened, and as well Villarica. Notable here, the Hudson volcano is now showing signs of unrest. Many showing signs of unrest across the planet as well. The only one in this subduction zone amongst all of the earthquakes over the past little while, the Michael Volcano, still showing signs of unrest. Overlooking Africa, Nirigongo, and as well, near Mirigongo, both active and, well, both active. There are not eruptive flows, lava flows there. Old Doño, still showing signs of unrest, as well Mayotte, erupting Urta Ale, and as well we saw a sizable eruption this this week at Etna, and as well Stromboli, notable here, Campi Flagri, as well through Iceland, of course, Fagradis Valley, otherwise known as Geldingadalar, and as well, a Grinsven volcano showing signs of unrest. Huge hole opened up in Iceland last night, a brand new one. As well, looking through Indonesia here with Sinabung, Krakatoa, Merapi, Simaru, Lubatolo, and as well, Sarang. Up into northern Indonesia here, Ibu and Dokono. Notable here, Sopatan, and as well, a tall volcano, still at alert status. And then two volcanoes have awakened in the middle of the ocean, Nishinashima, and as well, Fukutoku, Ononoba, a volcano has awakened, and it's visible on satellite imagery. Very large eruption. So two volcanoes in the middle of the ocean awakening. As well, notable here, Suis and Ajima, Sekirajima through Japan, as well, Era, which is not noted here, uh, Sharinkatan, which has awakened, as well, Eboko, Karamiski, and as well, Shivalich, and volcanoes through Kamchatka. And then we get to the Aleutian Islands, where we have a very active event going on here, Semes Napochnoi, the Great Sitkin, and as well, Pavlov, 
who puffed out a big cloud of steam. Notable here, Atka, and as well the Cleveland volcano. So yes, very active planet. Down into Papua New Guinea here, Cadavor, a Manam, and as well Bagana. Yes, sir, volcano, New Caledonia. And then last but not least, the mighty Erubus in Antarctica, which has been under a lot of stress recently, but more eastward towards the subduction zone. And we're seeing subduction zones across the planet activate right now as we go through quite possibly a pole reversal within the next 25 years. Having a look here at the notable regions for this week to be on watch. As well, a little correlation here with our electromagnetic current across the planet. This is the last 48 hours for lightning. Quick visual here of the Fukutomo volcano, which erupted Japan islands here, just north of Guam, large puff of steam coming out of Tokyo. And then you can see another one just north of there, also puffing out quite a big ash cloud. Amazing imagery here, satellite imagery. I'm so happy that we're able to visualize this. We are truly going through some epic times on this planet. Two active underwater volcanoes in the West Pacific. With the volcanic activity report, always correlate sulfur dioxide emissions, of course. And you can see a large eruption that came out of Fukutomo and as well as Shinashima sitting over the West Pacific right now is getting ready to be turned about and as well Kamchatka there. Lots of eruptions this last week. Big plume of SO2 coming off of Africa this week as well. Dust particulates and as well ash cloud from Etna this week. Overlooking the rest of the planet, Africa continual SO2 emissions and as well through Southeast Asia and as well the Arabia states. Also correlate the CO2 maps here and these maps are all brought to you by Windy and it's an app you can get and you can visualize this yourself but it's a great tool looking at some intense situations developing through South America and North America of course. Very hot conditions and fires through BC. Also correlate the fire map here. NASA worldview across the world. We're looking at many millions of fires across the planet right now. And it is summertime across Northern Hemisphere. But this is a bit concerning. All these fire spots, hot spots are following fault lines. And all the volcanoes around the world seem to be under a lot of pressure. And go figure, we are going through a Jupiter retrograde. And as well, we were affected by Saturn over this last little while. And that's why I correlate this all together. This is the big picture brought to you by Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And looking at Africa, intense situation developing there. And as well, thoughts and prayers going out to everybody through Greece and Turkey and everybody being affected by wildfires and natural disasters across the world. Overlooking Russia, still a very hot situation there. Earth is expanding and is also being compressed. We have a collapsed magnetosphere, most likely brought to you by our sun. Low solar output, collapsed magnetosphere. Overlooking Null School, also correlate the maps from them. Looking at intense emissions coming out of British Columbia and all across North America right now. Southeast Asia. Africa. 
So Earth is venting. It seems to be uh, using its pressure release valve across the planet in her own way. Looking across the world right now, should be an intense forecast tonight. I have some big weather details to share with the world as things are changing dramatically across the planet. Look here at null school carbon emissions across the planet. Now, I do believe all of this pressure that we're going through, that our planet has been going through over this last little while, there's been more sixes and sevens and eights than there has in the past year. We are tucked right between the sun and Jupiter right now. And on the 20th of August, we will be in complete alignment with Jupiter and the sun. So heads up and watch for a large seismic uptick by the 20th. We haven't seen anything yet. Much love and prayers for humanity. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to the volcanic activity report and as well the planetary positioning showing you what we are going through right now and over the next week. For week 32, 2021, this has been Mike with Morning Dew. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, possibly share with a friend. Hop into a live stream anytime, 24-7. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye now.